everybody and welcome back. Today I'm going to be a, doing a dog trainer's home. So my idea for this was to do a veteran for 4th of July because I built this on the 5th of July. But I realized that we do not have a lot of American flags here. So I thought I'd do a um, house for an old couple or just an older man, older woman, whatever you want to do with this. And this is kind of where they live. Maybe they built the house themselves. And um, they always wanted to become a dog trainer. But maybe they had to go in one of the wars or something. So afterwards, they built their own house and settled down in the midst of all the trees and everything. And became the dog trainer that they wanted to be. So the series is a little bit longer. There might be some weird pauses here or there. Because I am working on getting my recording to be, like, perfect and just catch everything. I'm using a laptop. I'm not using a computer to do this. So, it it didn't work the best. Um, and you guys can see, I built this house really weirdly. And then I was like, wait, I have to roof this? It, it was a struggle to roof it, that's for sure. But, um, got done. And... I don't think it looks too bad. I fiddled around with it a lot. I was trying to get different places and sizes and everything. And if you guys would like to download this home, it'll be on my origin I on my gallery, which is Withers with a capital W76. And if you'd like to see any more of my videos, I post a new video every Monday and Friday. So now we got that out. Um so I'm still fiddling with the roof. And, um, so I think we'll be going on to, like, painting the house and stuff. I it took longer to do the outside of the house than the inside of the house, which usually doesn't happen. But it's a small home. It's on, the, like, the tier level of tiny houses. Um, it has 98 tiles. So I just put it as a tiny home because that could work if you don't have tiny living. It's fine. But, um... I didn't use too many packs. I, I used a lot of um a lot of cats and dogs and I used a few things from other packs. But I try not to use like every single pack I own. And so if you have, probably have if you probably just have cats and dogs in base game, you could probably get this. But um I don't know. Um depends what you think is super important. So it it's it's a nice house, so I tried all sorts of different things with like the um wallpaper. I tried the one with the um with the columns and it like didn't clip right. <laughs> it was it was kind of a mess here and I was a little stressed out cuz I usually try to build my builds 2 days before I put out the video so I would usually build on Saturday but then I build it on Sunday because on the 13th I'm going on vacation for two weeks so I'm trying to get videos like ready to go out for those days I'm going to be gone which um I've got it all planned out what I'm going to do I'm not done with a lot of them I'm done with one of them but I think I'm going to finish another one today so um here we are. you can see the house kind of come together a little bit more but my vacation will hopefully be a lot of fun because I'm going to Yellowstone National Park with my aunt and my uncle and my cousin and I don't usually get to hang out with them a whole bunch so it'll be nice so um I try to make this house more like an older style house and um have like a lot of older furniture and everything it's not off the grid I was thinking about doing that and I was going to place like solar panels and stuff but I'm like that doesn't really match up with my style I have but you could easily do it so, um, here we are. I got the balcony and everything all set up. I feel like there's something else I want to tell you guys. Um, see, I do not know. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm just, this is a really long recording compared to some of the other ones I've had that just, like, didn't work. Oh, here we go. Here we're in landscaping. So, um, the computer was being so choppy. <laughs> Oh, I'm, I'm really sorry. I'm trying to make it better. It's just... I don't really know what I'm doing. <laughs> um, so... It was, it was, a, it was difficult. 
It was a learning, ex it is in a learning experience. So I wanted to try and make it look like it was like in the middle of the forest and stuff. And but I didn't block off the back so you can still like go back to the beach and stuff, which I thought was really pretty. You know, do like midnight strolls with your dog and your wife or whatever. I thought that'd be really, really nice thing to do in the game. And I feel like I don't build a lot of houses directed for older sims. So it was kind of refreshing to do that this time. But, um, next build, I do not, I will not be for an older sim. Probably Friday's build. But, um, Monday's build? Next Monday. Is gonna be a um, a room's a different color challenge. You have to bear with me. My computer is still messed up. It's not catching things right. But I made a super pretty house. It took me like an hour to make just the outside and stuff. And I was like, do I really want to ruin it? And I was like, you're fine. Just do it. And I think it really came out quite well. And then I'm gonna be doing a 10 minute build challenge, and I'm gonna be trying to talk while I'm doing it so that would be a new different thing if you guys would like to see that and in this build I did a whole bunch of terrain like a serious amount of terrain it was kind of crazy because usually I do some terrain paint you know terrain paint this one okay but um this was a lot more than usual and a lot more landscaping too so my idea for this build was that Maybe the wife had died, but you know, obviously, if you have two sims that are married, you wouldn't do that. But my idea was that she had passed away, and um, so he kept a lot of things that you know maybe she had here or whatever, and that she brought into this house and helped decorate it. So, like, a lot of the flowers are still alive because I'm guessing he kept them alive to kind of remember her. So now I'm doing the inside, and it took me forever to get the layout this right, because I wanted, so you walk into the living room, then there's a separate room with a kitchen and a um, dining room, and then I wanted Nook to put a computer, and then I had to have a bathroom, and then I had to have a bedroom, which actually goes off to the back porch, the bedroom does, which I was, I was like, is that okay? I was like, it's fine. There's like no other way to do it, unless I move the kitchen around and I liked where I put the kitchen, so that's kind of what happened. And the windows, like, they, they get moved around a whole bunch here because they don't match up with where I put things. And, um, remember seeing outside, I do have, like, a little barbecue spot, and I do put quite a lot of stuff outside. I put, like, the dog training stuff, place to sit, barbecue, um, I have laundry outside. Obviously, if you don't have laundry, it's perfectly fine. But I thought it was kind of cool, you know, I did laundry outside and stuff. And so here I am putting in um, the lights. I got my floor plan all figured out. That's how it's going to be. And this recording did not catch the, um, it didn't catch the uh, dining room at all. So you guys just get to see that in the screenshots. Sorry about that. But here we are figuring out wallpaper, and I was going to try to make it all um, base game and cats and dogs for a while, but then I had started placing things that weren't, like I have a bee house in the back, as you can see, and I was just like, no, it's fine, you know. There's a few little things that aren't, so it, it, it works out. And I was going to do, like, the entire bathroom in, like, the set that came with cats and dogs, but they were, like, super expensive, and I was like, no. We're good. We don't need all that. And I actually put one of the, um, the, uh, like, um, vet things. <laughs> the vet things, you know? The, the little, like, thing that they get your animal on and they check you out. Because I imagine that he also wanted to become a vet. But maybe he just didn't have enough money after, you know, making his own house and stuff to buy a vet. So he checked out his own dogs that he was training. So I imagine he was just a dog trainer. He'd buy dogs, he'd train them, and then he'd sell them for more. So you can't really do that in The Sims. You can't sell your dogs. <laughs> but you can't really get more money because they're trained better or whatever. But that was my idea. And I used a lot of, like, cute paintings and stuff that came with 
cats and dogs and just a lot of things with older frames and I really like that it was, it was different I've been doing more um, like traditional houses with more like younger couples or large families because that's what I like to build but this was like very refreshing and that red chair that is dad's chair or grandpa's chair really and that's nobody else's chair he sits there and I put a dog bed like right next to that in the couch and that's where his dog sleeps whenever he's sleeping in his chair okay <laughs> and I put a grandma phone in here because I thought it just really kind of matched the style a lot and it's really pretty fireplace and I think I'm going to be moving into the kitchen real soon, and I really hope you guys enjoy this house. I loved building it. It was something very different for me. So, um, here we are. This is where the kitchen's going to be, and the other side of that room is where the dining room's going to be. And if you guys enjoyed this video, there will be screenshots coming up real soon. And if you like this channel and would like to see more, you can hit that subscribe button hit that like button, hit that notification bell, so you guys will get notified every time I post a new video. Look at the little, okay, the cute little dog area, the dog bowl, adorable. So I will see you guys next time, and I hope you guys have a good day. See you Friday. Bye!